Today we'll be making an Animoto video slideshow, taking you through the steps on how to do that. First thing you want to do is get an Animoto account at animoto.com, and then you want to head to animoto.com slash education, where you can upgrade your account to an educator's account, where you can create unlimited video slideshows, um, and it's really a great option. But here's what we're going to do on any of the Animoto pages. If you just click the Create Video button, that's going to take you to the first step, which is choosing a style. Any style that isn't marked with Pro is going to be available to you. We'll just choose Simplicity. And once you've done that, you can either close it and go back and choose another one, or click Create. All of them also have a preview button where you can click a preview to see what you'd like. The next step is going to be adding pics and videos. Uh, you can upload either to an Animoto video. Uh, just click the upload button. You can also get them from another website, choose from their collection, or get them off of your Facebook page. We're going to make a video here using some wordles that our students made. And you can hold down shift and upload multiple images at the same time. Then that will take you through the upload process. Down at the bottom of this little screen, you'll see the options that you have, whether it be text rotating if you need to uh, change the, the orientation of a picture, if you want to duplicate it, delete it, or if you want to shuffle the order of your pictures. Uh, we'll just focus on two of these that uh, will make it pretty clear here. You can click the Add Text button and you'll get an option of inserting text with a main text and a subtitle. And you can then move that around this pane here to whatever spot you want. Another neat little feature they have is the spotlight feature. Now the spotlight feature will, when they're making the video, it'll tell Animoto to kind of pause and highlight that particular image. So if you have one or two that you want to make sure get more attention than the others, you click on them so that you see the little uh, orange border around them in the pane and then you just click spotlight and then you'll see a little yellow outline border appear around that one too and then those will be spotlighted in the movie. If you have more you'll click add more. If you're done you'll just click done and move on. Then you're getting into choosing the music. You can upload from your computer but of course you have to keep in mind copyright restrictions or you can select from their pretty extensive collection of royalty free uh, music and not have to worry about copyright what will pop up when you choose the music is the different genres that you can search by and selecting any of them is going to open up a full list of tracks that they have for you always move you can always move back with the back arrow if you want info or you want to uh, hear a short sample you can just click on either one of these buttons and when you're ready to select it you just click select and then it's going to move you to a screen asking you to continue and that's where you will actually finalize your video now here's a little tip if you want to slow down your movie and make sure that uh, all the images are going to get highlighted for a long enough time you can choose the half speed option if you just want to keep it at regular speed you would click this selection in the middle and if you want it to move faster you could choose the two times speed the thing with Animoto is, you have to realize, is that they're going to create the movie based on the music that you choose. So if you have a fast-paced song, it's going to move through the images quicker. If you have a slower-paced song, it's going to slow it down. Automatically it does that. And so you can choose the pacing, kind of deter determine your choice for pacing on that, on what kind of music you chose. Video length. Full length is what's going to be available to you if you have that educator account. And then they're going to remind you of your video style and you can change that here. Once you hit continue, you're going to give your 
Animoto a title and description. Let them know who your producer name is. And then you're going to create the video. They will process it, compose, and produce it all for you. And send you an email when they're done. Once you get that email that your Animoto movie is ready, it will uh, take you to this screen where you can play it. Uh, also giving you the share option by posting it to another site, Facebook, etc. Uh, also giving you the option to share the link or email the link. If you go back here, you can also download it, export it. Um, you can even change it by remixing or deleting it. And then they also have the option of an embed code that can get copied and pasted into your blog or website. And that's how you make an Animoto video. If you need more tips and more tutorials, please visit us at engagingeducators.com.